Hello Libra, it's my lady from my lady's way Terry. I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 31st through August 7th, 2017. Summer is over. <laughs> the cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Alright. So, I don't know. I've been kind of asked to brand it today. So, brand it. So, I'm forgetting something. I forgot something in their video, but I don't know. Somebody just found out they was pregnant. Alright, let's go. What's going on for Libra? July 31st. Through August 7, 2017, love reading. Libra, 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 July 31st, August 7, 2017, love reading. All right, Libra. Mm. All right, so you dealing with somebody that's a different race, a different religion, or just make a lot less money than you. Okay. Wow. So, you're thinking about this person letting you go. Like, really? You let me go? Okay. So, yeah, you really cherished this relationship with this person. So, it was like, it was a shock to you when it, you this person let you go. Okay. Alright, it was a shock and it pissed you off. Like, really? Everything I've done for you, you just gonna leave me? Okay. Okay, um, there were, there was no sexual attraction there. This person didn't look at you, um, but this could be vice versa too because it's a general reading or you didn't look at this person like sexually anymore. Mm. Um, yeah, they started thinking things about you that weren't true. I feel like they started saying stuff. That wasn't true about you after um maybe after the baby came about if this connected to that first card when we first started um doing the reading all right so yeah somebody feel like uh, this you feel like this person is sucking the life out of you they sucked everything that you had everything you wanted just like i don't know they drained you emotionally and then they left you okay all right, one four in a row, and it already flipped over. Yeah, so this is basically saying you're not actualizing what happened. And this was sideways. So it's like maybe some of you are having like crazy dreams about whatever is going on. And some of you are coming out of a time of uh, having bad dreams and being stuck in your head and just uh, sad and hopeless about about the whole situation, you know? All right, so Cleo cards. I like to read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. What's going on for Libra? Third, July thirty first to August. Hmm hmm hmm. King of Cups. Somebody is nasty, deceitful, mean, evil, ugly, inside. So somebody is just being a horrible person. Mm, was that the Six of Cups? Well, said. Hmm. So it, this makes me feel like it was too. Um, people involved, two masculine figures, and it was a nasty, deceitful one, and it was an honest one, and the honest one, the honest one was successful. All right, whatever that means to you. All right, what's going on with the Libra, July thirty first through August seventh, love reading two thousand seventeen. Okay, Libra, Libra, Libra. Who? Some of you had a. Somebody got a lot of money from something. It might ended up with, it might have came from like a judgment. Or you guys are going to get a lot of money from a judgment. Something was done wrong and they had to pay you for it. And it's going to go in your favor. Alright, so the Queen of Cups is first. Now we got nine of coins from earlier. So maybe, I'm feeling like in this whole situation... Maybe you got angry or somebody got angry with you and they tore up your stuff and now they got to pay for it. Or they maybe took your stuff or something like that. 
Ooh. All right. That was a kick in the sack. All right. Yeah, you're going to have to come to an agreement. All right. So let's read these. We got the a lot of hurt feelings going on about money and things. All right. So we got the Queen of Cups reverse. A distinguished female concerned with public opinion, slightly arrogant, look behind and smile before extending your hand. So it's like, I don't know, you trusted this person with something and they turned around and they, um, they broke it. Or you trusted them to pay you back for something they broke and they didn't. Alright, so we have the nine of coins. This is... Many of your dreams are approaching. It is time for financial gain and realization of your goals. A card of many blessings, achievements, goals, hopes, realize, and obligations satisfied. So basically, this person been owing you for a while, and now they got to pay for what they did. So now you got the death card. The death card was in, like, most of my readings. So I think it's the season change. Everybody trans forming their self and their their lives for a hibernation for the summer getting ready for next year all right so a death card a, a drastic change the end of a current situation and death the life begins again the beginning of a new situation so i feel like yeah somebody then trying to start a new relationship or a new situation and maybe this could be business also yeah but somebody trying to start something new and get over this old mess all right, so we got the Two of Cups. All right, the Two of Cups says, this is a card of union between two people coming together at a time of understanding between the two. So it's basically like, for some of you, you had to take this person to court to get your things back. But for some of you, this person just like, okay, here's your stuff, and, and I'm, I'm leaving. Or that's how it's going to go. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.